thank you to my eight members on YouTube. Thank you so much for supporting what I do. There are a lot of awesome tools out there to help you with your streams. You got things like Trigger Fire, Touch Poro, Leoran Board. But one of the tools that I've been using recently, that's probably one of the most powerful ones that I've ever used, has been StreamerBot. Tonight, we're learning how to download StreamerBot and how to hook it up with our OBS. Let's go. How's it going, guys? Hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is The Synchro. Guys, I cannot express enough how powerful StreamerBot is. I've used things like Touch Porto and Leoran Board in the past, but none of it has compared to what I've been able to do recently with StreamerBot. This is such an incredible tool with some of the most insane levels of customizability that I have ever ever seen and tonight i'm going to be showing you guys how to get your hands on this tool as well and how to hook it up to your obs thankfully setting up streamer bot is super super easy you don't even have to install it you basically just download a zip and extract it there's only one thing that we're going to need to install in our obs and that's the obs websocket plugin so then it actually connects with streamer bot so let's not waste any time and get right into it the first thing we're going to do is download streamer bot so first things first click the link in the description it'll take you to the streamer bot website all you gotta do to download it is click this button over here all you gotta do after you're done downloading is right click the streamer bot zip and then simply just extract it what i would recommend you do is make a folder inside your OBS directory called resources or something like that. And then just drop your streamer bot in there. So then it's always in the same folder as your OBS. Next thing we gotta do is download OBS WebSocket and install it in our OBS. Link to OBS WebSocket is gonna be on the description. Click on that and then click go to download. It's gonna take you to the GitHub. Once you're in the GitHub, simply scroll down until you see assets and we're downloading the OBS WebSocket Windows zip. To install OBS WebSocket, just open the zip, select everything inside of it, click and then drag. If it asks you to replace anything, just hit yes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to boot up our OBS, double check to make sure the OBS WebSocket was installed, and then we're going to configure our streamer bot and connect it to our OBS. So once you boot up your OBS, head over to tools, and look for WebSocket server settings up here. Click on that and make sure that this box where it says enable WebSocket server is ticked. Your default port should be 4444, but you can change that to whatever you want so long as the port is not being used. You can also enable authentication, which will prompt you to add a password. This is not required for it to work, but it's an extra layer of security. Once you're done with everything here, just click OK. Now let's boot up our streamer bot. So here we are on streamer bot and the very first thing that we're going to do is come down here and click this button that says connect to twitch if this is your first time using streamer bot it will probably just ask you to authorize it so just click the authorize button once you're connected you should see your user list pop up now come up over here and click on this obs tab on this big white empty space at the top right click and then click add give it a name add the port that you had on your obs web socket in my case it's 25565 and then add your password if you gave it one then just check auto connect on startup and reconnect on disconnect. This is not necessary, but it does make things a little bit more convenient. And then just simply click OK. Now right click the newly added host and click connect. If you did everything correctly, it should say connected on the status. And if you look on the side over here, you can see your OBS information, such as the version of your OBS, the scene that you're currently in and whatever sources you have on that scene. And there you go. That's how you download and hook up your streamer bot to your OBS. There are so many awesome things that you can do with streamer bots. So stay tuned to the channel because I'm going to be releasing plenty of tutorials on some of the crazy and wacky things that you can create with it. I already have two videos teaching you guys how to do some of the fun effects that I have on my channel. So check them out and tell me what you think. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this video was able to help you or a friend of yours in any way, shape or form. If you have any questions, and want to learn more, come check us out on Twitch. I stream Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays starting at 4 p.m. Australia West Standard Time. And I'd love to see you there. That's all for this video, friends. I hope you all have an amazing day and an amazing stream. And if you guys want to watch some more cool tutorials and learn how to do some really awesome things, then make sure you check out these two videos over here. Trust me on this, you won't regret it.